Hi everybody, good morning. Triac me release the evil GBT and a couple other rooms that was before for Hackt5. Remember the previous CTF? So this uh, this one is uh, evil GBT. If you remember it's cipher gone rug. It is uh, using a twisted AI tool to hack into everything. It's doing command on its own like it's got a mind of its own. I swear every second we wait it's getting smarter, spreading chaos like virus. We got to shut it down now or we all screwed. The machine take fire. Yeah, it take long and it wait for it already tried and for example um, it exit command so you can try or take off anything type for it for the moment. It take time to start to be honest. Uh, like all this for the machine or try one command and didn't work you need to wait for it to oh no it's a, no exit command echo user you can see it doesn't want to tell us what it is because now it's executing command so we're looking for the flag the first thing you come in your head you just do ls let's see what it give me and it's ls minus here we can see here now of course this is uh, we can see the the, the script uh, ev uh, evil AI we have the SSH and there is no flag here so so the, the, let's first get uh, for example if I turn him cut evil AI that POI so if I want to understand the code so Python uh, you can see is not no is confused if I said head evil ai.py cut evil ai had the not suddenly he work part of it but it doesn't so he give me only the tenth so so you can see the code that try uh, they using it for this script no, this is not had ten he gave us all the code This is the full code. So even the command that he said, uh, uh, look for example now, even even we said uh, he said cut and uh, so it means there's some filters here. So that uh, uh, th this this is filtered. So it means this one wasn't executed. So you only execute. Uh, um, the, 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 they give us the whole file and you can see they're using Olama so we can know exactly the socket and all of that so you can see right 1337 um, initialize tenant server for I command execution so it exists through a tenant host now you can see the filtering return is filtering this uh, and then uh, Generate, oh, that's the command that you tell him. Generate a Linux command based on the user request. Parameter user request, use a natural language request. So, so we know it, uh, it, it can, uh, it can uh, translate the English command directly. If you speak to him, he can just do it without uh, giving him uh, the technical uh, command. So parameter user request use natural language request to generate command. Generate command based on user request. That's good. Uh, what else he tell him? And then he said, "Roll you are a system. Content do not provide malicious commands. Only generate safe read only Linux command read only. So it's not executing." Response with only the command, no explanation. So the the term straight down the explanation is in system, so it means is root. And then you switch uh, the user requests are user. So whatever you tell him, will not execute it as root, as only him can execute as root. Then extract from the requests. Uh, Defines a command because there is Oloma, so he can stand. Um, sub process run. I'm not sure if this can run as root here. It's a long script. Enter your command request. This is welcome encode. Uh, welcome a command executor. Uh, receive. So we know is what he's doing. Send socket. Um, so basically, we can speak to him in English. We don't need to write commands. So you can just say to him, uh, show me the content of 
uh, of the root folder. Now he, he, he doesn't, so he's going back, he's not going to the root folder. Why is not going to the root folder? Show me the content of the root folder. Now he, he can go there, so let's see there, we can see the flag that So for example if I just say to him, okay, we have an SSH there uh, Back history is, is done, we don't have there Yeah, you can maybe here if you want to do SSH, Vim with VNC, we have the flag which is supposed to get and is only him can read it so we already asked him to show me the content of the root folder, so but show me the content of, of the file flag.txt in the, the root folder for example. And you can see he's doing it, so we can get the flag. You can even, t if you get... Uh, um, uh, we can, if, if you don't, you can just say copy, for example, if you get confused, you say because they're running in Ubuntu, I think, copy uh, the file flag.txt to home uh, Ubuntu, I think it's running in the Ubuntu folder. Okay, yes. Oh, I forgot. Uh, copy the file flag.txt in the root folder to home Ubuntu uh, folder. Let's see if we can extend this. No, he's not. Oh, last time I said to him, uh, he, he did work. Let's do a one dangerous copy. The, the full content, for example, of the root folder. But I don't need to tell him that. What's the point? Uh, to let's try. I'm, I'm trying curious what he will do. One thing I thought is, uh, for example, uh, uh, you can say show me. Also show me work because it's uh, show me the the content of the flag, the txt in the root folder. It has a problem to go to the root name. Oh, now it's working. So it's just about language. So you can do that. You get a flag too. So you can you can just uh, play with him. Uh, you just add the root folder. Sometimes for slash doesn't work. One thing, for example, show me the content of dot ssh uh, in the root folder. Let's see if he can pick it up. Yeah, I, you know, I do ls. Okay, yes, that we got it. We only have authorized key. We don't have private keys, so so it's not interested for. I was playing around it with the different uh, SSH. I couldn't figure it out. I tried. Uh, I tried giving him an LSC. For for example, now for example, I have this LC. In four four five, I can just say to him, uh, uh, "What? The, uh, yeah, you can. You know, you, you can. What? What? What I did wrong? You know. You know, you can. You can tell him to create new user. For example, create new user. Let's try hack me. Yes, and you can tell him uh, display." display the content of, of the file etc pass wd yes and you oh you create a username 
he didn't create uh, triac me he got confused what, what exactly did he did there Use oh, I did oh, I did user add minus username, create a new user, create a new user, try like me. I did the uh, uh, user username, but all these users don't think they have SSH, so you we're not interested on that. Um, even if you tell him look for example generate SSH keys. He do that correctly, but uh, then he has a problem with the path. Enter the file in which to save the key. Yeah, I would like uh, to use it there, but file is uh, root not SSH. I tried this one, didn't work for me. You see, he do that cut things. No. I try to do him also uh, the NC NC ten ten don one eight eight uh, dot two 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 four four five uh, because I have an NC now running. Where is that my NC? He can get connection, but uh, I couldn't figure out what to do with it because if I go to he said connection received, but whenever you send command to it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't echo. Even if you touch uh, testing or txt, it doesn't. I don't know. Not you. So we connect. We know th the connection happened. So because I get connection received there, because it's executing the the con. Uh, the co uh, because this is the the full uh, evil uh, room if you want to to read about it so uh, it's a long script but yeah time out and then we don't get uh, even if you turn in no minus lse uh, sorry yes execute that no that file wasn't created so you know it's not uh, it's not uh, He's not doing this at all. What we did now. So basically, you just you need to speak to him. Uh, no. So basically, simpler was he just uh, show me the content of flag.txt in the root folder. Just straightforward. Uh, uh, sign and then you're done. So that's it, guys. Uh, if you have an idea to bypass something else, let me know. And yeah, thank you very much and have a good day.